Established in 1908 as the first national monument in Utah, Natural Bridges National Monument preserves the three beautiful natural bridges. It's a bit remote, but well worth a visit. Let me show you why. The three natural bridges that Natural Bridges National Monument preserve are the Sipapu Bridge, the Kachina Bridge, and the Owakakomo Bridge. Natural Bridges National Monument is an easy place to visit. Once you get there, it offers a way to visit for people of all abilities. Each bridge can be viewed from an overlook a short distance from the parking lot. There are trails that lead to each bridge, and there is a loop trail that takes you to each bridge in a loop. In addition, there is a viewpoint to view an ancient cliffside dwelling. All of this is connected by a 9-mile bridge view drive, which is a one-way loop drive. We arrive on a nice October day, shortly after 10 o'clock. The park was pretty empty. Natural Bridges does not get a lot of visitors, with only 73,000 visitors in 2021 which ranks 235th out of the 424 National Park Service locations. After we did our park business and the visitor center, we started down the Bridge View Drive. Our first stop of the day was the Sipapu Bridge Overlook. The scenery of the canyon was beautiful. It was refreshing to see white cliffs after seeing lots of red rocks in the last few days. Sipapu Bridge is the longest bridge in the park, with a span of 268 feet. It is second only to Rainbow Bridge in the U.S. Wait, you may say, what about the 290 feet landscape arch in Arches National Park? Well, landscape arch is an arch, where the Sipapu Bridge is a natural bridge. What's the difference, you may ask? Well. A natural bridge is an arch that spans a valley of erosion, unlike some of the other arches. The short trail from the parking lot to Sipapu Bridge Overlook was paved and wheelchair accessible, and the view from the Sipapu Bridge Overlook was fantastic. To get closer to the arch, you have to hike the one and a half mile Sipapu Trail that descends steeply 500 feet into the canyon. It is the steepest trail in the park. The Hopi people believe Sipapu is the gateway to the spirit world. Our next stop was a horse collar ruin overlook. The overlook is 0.6 mile round trip that is not wheelchair accessible. We saw a Pueblan cliff dwelling with two granaries. The shape of the granaries gave the ruin its name. That was just perfect to stretch our legs after the morning drive. Our third stop of the day is Kachina Bridge Overlook. Again, a nicely paved trail from the parking lot out a few hundred feet to the Overlook. I will say one thing for sure, this park has got good facilities. Everything looks pretty new in terms of uh, you know things like paved trails and railings. The view itself is actually not that great. You can uh, only see part of the bridge. You cannot see through the bridge. And, uh, but you have to hike all the way down to the bottom in order to see that. And that's like a 400 feet elevation change. Kachina is named after Hopi Kachina dancers, which is a supernatural embodiment of plants, animals, weather, and ancestral power. Our fourth stop of the day, the Iwakamo Bridge Trail. We're actually going to take this trail down to the bridge. It's a uh, 0.2 mile there and 0.2 mile back. 180 feet of elevation change, so something we can handle. And uh, here we go. Boy, that's pretty neat to uh, be able to get to under this bridge. A very long bridge, it looks pretty for not much work. Well, we just finished stop number four, Owakamo Bridge. Uh, we took the trail all the way down. It was beautiful. You get to go under the bridge. We laid there for a while watching the bridge from the bottom up. And you can go past the bridge a little bit 
and um, see the bridge from the other side. It's not very long, but it is uh, kind of steep, but uh, it's fantastic. Just our speed. Oakamo means rock mount, which is named after the rock on the southeast end of the bridge. The Oakamo Trail is the easiest of the three. It's only a half a mile round trip and an elevation change of 180 feet. It is the most photographed bridge in the park. If you have the ability, you can hike the loop trail from any of the bridges. The big 12 mile loop covers all three bridges. There are two shorter loops that cover two bridges each at 5.7 and 6.5 miles each. They are considered strenuous by, park, by the Park Service, so be sure to bring lots of water. There is another key attraction in Natural Bridges, the night sky. Natural Bridges National Monument was certified as the first international dark sky park in 2007. It is one of the darkest. The sight of the Milky Way against the natural bridge is magical. There are 13 campsites next to the visitor center should you want to enjoy the dark sky. But there is no cell reception or internet in the park. So come prepared by downloading all your maps and data before you get there. Natural Bridges National Monument is easy to visit with activities suitable for all abilities. You can drive the bridge view drive and stop at viewpoints. You can hike one or more of the trails to the actual bridge. Or, for those who are truly hardy, hike the loop trail to all three bridges. It's lots of fun to visit and spend a day. We are on our way to visit all the national parks in the United States. Follow along by hitting the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell so you know when a new video is released. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video, and please share it with everybody that you know.